<laughs> hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to review the new Tremors movie, Tremors Shrieker Island. And then after the review, I'm going to uh, do something I've seen a lot of people do. I'm going to rate uh, seven Tremors movies from worst to best. Now, it's only my opinion. You might disagree with me. And then, you know, as a viewer or something like that in the comments, if you want, you can put your uh, worst to best list of the worst Tremors movie, uh, uh, the worst Tremor movie up to the best Tremors movie. Okay. Well, anyways, Tremors Shrieker Island um, is set in, well, set on island. I mean, I think it was from Universal. I think they're trying to do, like, the Jurassic World thing where they're in, in a secluded island, stuff like that. And they, they, it has a big, giant um, production feel to it. They have all these, like, scoping shots of the island and stuff like that. It looks really cool. And um, it's a while before you see the star of the show, Michael Gross, from Family Ties. You know, I mean, this would, like... The only thing I've ever seen him in, except for Family Ties, has been the Tremors movies. And he's, like, the only, like, remaining character. He, you know, he's been in all of them. And, uh... It starts off with, like, there's a hunting party. Uh, it's probably, uh, probably just for the rich elite. You know, they get that fancy trophy of one of the uh, the graboids or stuff like that, you know, when they hunt them. And uh, they have a big hunting party and stuff. And then it finds out that uh, there's at the other part of the island, there's another island, there's a research crew, and, and the guy that runs the hunt is also... A millionaire that's in charge of the um, bio research team, or something like that. And you see, like uh, John Heater, who's Napoleon Dynamite in the movie, instead of Jamie Kennedy, who I'm really not a big fan of. You know, I, I think that was I didn't think he was very good in the the Channel Five or Six. You know, I, I didn't really care for Jamie Kennedy at all. And uh, I guess most people feel that way. Um, I don't know, it's just, I don't know, something about them, I don't know what it is. Well, anyways, uh, they find out something's going on on that private island, and that one girl and uh, John and Heater go over to check it out, and they find that there's graboids on there. And they and they said, you better go get Bert Gummer, <laughs> which is a silly name, last name. Hey guys, my, uh, and he said he's on the Galapagos Islands or something like that. So John Heater goes, I mean, it's like, he goes, it seems like it doesn't take, it takes a second to go down there. I mean, you know, it's a movie. And he goes and sees uh, Mike Groves, and he's like, um, he's similar to like, Tom Hanks in Castaway. You know, uh, grilling fish and stuff like that. And uh, it's, I mean, it would have been cool if they were done like uh, Robson Crusoe, Burt Gummer movie. That would be something separate from the Tremors movie. That would be kind of interesting. But, I mean, you know, and this was, like, about, I don't know, like, 25 minutes into the movie, half hour into the movie or something like that. No, 25 I minutes, mean, I mean, because you don't see him till then. There's a lot of story to set up and stuff like that. And um, he comes back, and he teams up, and it's that one girl that was the mom of the Jamie Kennedy, Kennedy, the Jamie Kennedy character. Um, you know, he's like, I don't want to see, I didn't know she was going to be there. I'm leaving. But he doesn't say it like that. And, I mean, and then you team up, uh, you know, they have that rich guy, and he says, I can do whatever I want. And he said, we're going to hunt those graboids and stuff like that. We're going to kill it. And then, I bet eventually, in at the 39, 40-minute mark, it gets going. It starts really getting going. Um, and there's lots of shriekers on there. No ass blasters. And it's a lot of fun. I mean, he has the line saying, uh, who needs guns when you have Pennsylvania steel? And it's like, they don't have that much weapon, but the rich guy got a ton of weapons, including that, um, can't know, I can, don't remember the name of that machine gun, you hold like this and rotates it, that thing was so cool. I love that. Um, it's a fun movie, I really enjoyed it. It's a lot, I mean, um, it was cool to see it on Netflix, it's a great Saturday afternoon monster movie. I mean, you know, bring back memories of Saturday afternoons and stuff. Even though where the late night, late night or late night, any time is fine to see this movie. It's really good. It's on Netflix right now. Uh, <clears throat> I really liked it. Um, and there was a good. I mean, like I said, who needs gun to get Pennsylvania? And there was another great line in the military. There's a, a slogan saying like "Lead, follow, or get out of the way." 
And then he said, he and one of the parties, he said, lead follow, get out of my way, which I like that too. I know they tweaked it a little bit. It was cool. But no, the movie's a lot of fun. I think John Heater, Napoleon Dynamite's better than Jamie Kennedy anyways. He's like, he should have said something like, he should have done some Napoleon Dynamite, but he didn't go do that. It's like, oh, another grab boy got in your way. He goes, another grab boy. God. Like there's something like there's like, there boy, we just send a liger after them. I'm not the best at imitating them. But I love the movie. It's a lot of fun. I give it a 9.75 out of 10. Almost a perfect 10. Um, for Tremor Streaker Island. Now I'm going to rate the Tremors movies from worst to best. Now a lot of these sequels are pretty close. To the, I like most of the sequels pretty much the same. And there's little variants that, you know, differ. Except for the worst one. I don't know if you remember the worst one. The worst one was uh, Part 6. A Cold Day in Hell, great title, Cold Day in Hell, but I hate this really, I mean, this really sucked because it was, the movie was a complete lie. They said it would be Tremors in the Snow, and then, I mean, it was like that for like five minutes, and then it goes to like some Canadian research facility. It looks pretty much like the other ones where it might get to like maybe 50 or 40 degrees and put on a light sweater, put on a light jacket. But it's not like the Arctic like they promised. Because they had the cold right here, and even in, uh, even on the poster thing, it looks like, I'm looking at uh, the Tremors movies, because I can't remember some of the titles after, like Tremors 2, or, you know, Back to Perfection, stuff like that, but it even looks like Lost Note, but I mean, that was a complete lie, and the movie sucked. I mean, it could never grab, I mean, I just didn't think it was very good. It wasn't interesting or anything like that. Uh, so that's the worst of the series. Now the other sequels... I like pretty much, the first, next three I pretty much like almost the same. There's a little bit of differences that separate a little bit. Uh, next would be Part 5. When, when I'll, when the part 5 Bloodlines, which I saw on uh, Netflix. <clears throat> and it's weird because I saw 5, 6, 7 on Netflix. I don't have the memories that I did with the other four. Um, Tremors 5 was really good. They tried to do the reality show thing. They introduced Jamie Kennedy. It's okay. I, but, I mean, the movie is a lot of fun. Now, next, it was... Boy, it was interchangeable between Shrieker Island and this one, but I'll have to say Tremors 4, The Legend Begins. And I thought it was very clever because they did a Western motif. And I bought this one at Walmart on DVD because I didn't know it came out. It was like seven fifty. It wasn't that much. And I know my dad would like it because it was a Western. I think it's the most... As far as, like, the angle they approach it, I think it's the most creative. I, I, I really enjoyed it, though. You know, it's a great movie. Next, just by a hair, because I liked the decision they made during the last 20 minutes, was Tremor Streaker Island. I liked the movie references and some stuff that happened. It was really cool. But they were neck and neck. Now, the next three are pretty much, uh, in my opinion, you know, definitive. Uh, part three... Which is the third, I mean, wait a second. Yeah, part three is next, and that's Back to Perfection. I love that title. And that's weird because it was the only Tremors movie to get PG rating. Now, I remember, uh, well, Dad, uh, Dad and I both loved Tremors 4. He, and now he passed away, so he didn't see Tremors 5, 6, and 7. But, I mean, Tremors 3, I remember he rented that. I didn't know that came out either. Because they changed the whole cable thing and stuff like that. So we didn't have like the channels like we used to have. They brought in the whole digital cable crap, which made it a whole mess. But uh, Tremor Street Back to Perfect came out. We rented it at um, the um, Springboro Video Rental Place, which I didn't know existed. And I'm, I was telling my friend, he, he said it had like Traces of Death 2, uh, 4, and 5. And so oh, I had to go there and rent those. And we rented Tremors uh, 3, and we both, Dad and I both, I liked it. They introduced the Ass Blasters that, you know, I think they farted fire or something like that. Really cool. That was a really good one. Another one, Michael Gross. That was a fun one. Next, uh, second uh, best is Tremors 2 Aftershock. And I was really excited to see that. Uh, they would have, like, on the old days of Cinemax and stuff, they would have, I mean, because HBO would have their movie premiere at 8 o'clock, Saturday night, and then uh, Cinemax would have like Friday at eight o'clock, and there was Tremors uh, Aftershock. But that's what he did whenever Deep Blue Sea came out. They had Shark Attack from New. 
or the not new line uh, new wave I can't remember now new wave video or something like that whatever you know and they had that one on but no that was a lot of fun very exciting I really enjoyed that and uh, introduced the Shriekers and of course number one which I got to see again I haven't seen it in ages I've only seen it the one time was the original Tremors which I had a chance to see when I was in the military in Germany but we were shift workers. I had to work. So there was a few times I had a chance to see some movies. I didn't get a chance to see them. I was all bummed out. Like Tremors or like License to Kill. Naked Gun. I had to work. In, uh, Police Academy 6. Uh, Friday, Thursday, Friday the 13th Part 8, which I'm glad I didn't see at the theater because that sucked. But I ended up renting it. Which, so it still sucked. And then what was another one? Text Chainsaw 3, which I didn't care for that much. And, uh, I can't remember. But I mean, there was something I didn't see. But I know I, I, that's, without a doubt, the best one. They had Reba McIntyre before I even knew who she was in it. And Kevin Bacon. And, um, yeah, it's definitely the best of the series. But I, I would love to see it again. So, I hope you liked this video, everybody. Until next time, please. And if I do see it again, I'll do a review of it, too. So, until next time, everybody, I hope you liked this video. And rank of the Tremors movies from Worst to Best. Until next time, bye, please. Take care of my legion.